before you begin splinting, gather the materials that you will need. The materials listed here are for an average adult patient. For the coaptation splint, you will need two 4 inch web rolls, one 6 inch web roll, three 4 inch ace wraps, 10 sheets of 5 inch by 30 inch plaster, six foot of 4 inch stockinette, scissors, two pieces of tape, and one water. To prepare for the coaptation splint, size the plaster starting from the axilla, going around the elbow and above the shoulder to the neck. The positioning for the coaptation splint starts with the humerus in neutral and the elbow at 90 degrees. This splint is meant to be supported by gravity, so no sling should be applied because the sling will defeat the purpose of the splint. Next, roll the stockinette up. Then roll it back over the plaster with the plaster inside the stockinette. Make sure there is plenty of stockinette on both sides and cut the stockinette in half on both sides to act as ties around the patient's neck. Remember, once the plaster has dried, cut the ties away from the patient. The purpose of this is to keep the plaster in place as it is drying. Open the ace wrap and throw away the metal clips. Make sure you have warm water and tape strips ready. After you're done, clean your area and discard the water in a high flow system such as a toilet or a hopper found in the stolen utility room. Next, we have the coaptation splint. What I have is some six inch web roll and I will go all the way up to the neck right here, come about halfway down the humerus and then fan fold this. I will do this about three times. and then tear it. Put this back up if it slides down. You want this up high because the plaster will be going all the way to the neck. Next is grab a four inch roll and then I'll start proximal all the way distal. Go around about three times or four. Work your way 50-50. Now the plaster will not set over the elbow, so you put your extra uh, fan fold right here on the forearm. And this is all the web roll you'd use, because we'll have the plaster in the stockinette, and then we'll go straight to Ace. And I'll show you why. All right, we got all the cotton on there. Now we're ready to apply our plaster. I have the plaster cut and stuffed in stockinette, and I have some tie ropes right here. I what I did was just cut it in half, and then we'll show. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So dip the plaster. You can dip it in the stockinette. It won't dry. You still do the three S's. You want to squeeze the excess water out, stretch it back out, and squeeze it in between your second and third digit. Now, what I usually do is find my longer end. Sometimes I usually have a longer end. And then I will go up high to next to the patient's neck and tie this around their neck loosely, not tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. Usually I do a slip knot. And then position the plaster. This works just like a sugar tongue. And then tie this up after you go from the armpit, tie it around the neck again. Now you want to reassure the patient that this is just temporary while the plaster is hardening. The reason I do this is because usually after you apply the splint, the splint will slide down the arm. So this just helps it dry while it's in place. Next, apply the ace wraps. And do what? That is correct, 50-50. 50-50 overlay.
When I get to the top right here, what I do is I'll go up high and then come back down around the armpit and just build down 50-50 from there. If it slides down, don't worry about it because once we cut these straps off, we will adjust as needed. As you can see, it looks like a shoulder pad. This splint works on gravity, so you don't need to add a sling to it or anything. And you can have the patient setting up. Now you can also do this laying down, but it's easier to apply this if the patient is setting up. All right, now I'll tuck my hands in. Now the plaster has dried, you are ready to cut the straps off. All right, so I'll cut the ones in front. You can untie it if you want to, but I usually I just leave it tied up. Cut the straps. Have the patient set up a little bit if you need to. And then once that's done, you can actually take the ace wrap and fold it up underneath the plaster just to protect the patient's skin. And tuck it in. Do the same thing underneath the armpit. All right. And notice as you see, it's already shrunk an inch, but that's okay. Like I said, I went all the way up to neck and that's the reason we went to that high. All right, and that is the coaptation splint. This is the conclusion of this video and thank you for your time.